Yeah, hi everybody. It's Chris McCurry for Backspin TV. Backspin. Backspin. Backspin TV. Chris, thank you for your time. Thank you very um, much. The the reason why we're here is because you're shooting a video with Flair. Yeah. This this these days. The level video. Yeah, yeah, the level video. Right now, we will see this in the future in Germany. Yeah. But for us, it is a chance to have you on the side. Thanks. Um, that you can tell us your story. Because I think a lot of people know your name because of the videos. But okay. there's not so much information about the people behind, the guy behind the videos. <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, is it for you important to be a little more hide it? Or is it okay for you that everybody knows your name and know your story? Me, I, I prefer to stay in the back. Yeah. Because that's my job, to stay in the back and to do... Uh, good good stuff but uh i'm okay to sometimes to do interviews and that people see my face it's okay for me you are now almost 10 years in video business yeah is that right yeah yeah can you remember your uh, your, your start uh i start making videos for my cousin uh -huh, okay. back in the days he had a group named l2m uh -huh. and they made rap music and uh, I, i i did uh, two videos for them and that's how i, I start Was it was it a small? Video yeah, small, business? no budget video, yeah. and uh, only me with my little camera. And what was your first camera? My first camera was a Canon Mini DV. Okay. Yeah, a Mini DV Canon camera, and uh, and then I had um, I had a, a P2. Okay. A P2 and a Pan Panasonic, and and then, but I don't like to to buy cameras. I prefer to rent. Yeah. Because it's better. Yeah. Yes, of course, because of the budget, yeah, right? Yeah. And um, uh, everything's changing all the time, so it's better to rent. Yeah. Um, going back to the start of your video business, when 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 you when you had the thought to make it more professional, I think in the first time it was like do just no, doing a job for a friend. At, at, at the beginning, it, it was funny for me. Yeah. It was just uh, to help them. Yeah. And I I start to make uh, to make it professional when I was maybe. Um, 24 years old, and I was thinking uh, uh, I was uh, out of school. Yeah. I had my diploma, yeah. and nothing. I was interested in nothing in France. But you never, you never started stu studied something no, like video. No, no. I, I was in a graphic design school. Okay. But we we don't have a we didn't have a cinema cinema studies or okay. something like that. Uh, all by myself. All by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Was it hard to learn? No. no. You have to watch, listen, and that's all. Yeah. Wh what What is What is the secret for you first? If you start a video shoot, maybe in the past. Back in the days. Yeah. So I, I lived in the in the West Indies, yeah. uh, next to the US, yeah. and uh, we had a cable channel, BET. Yeah. And uh, all the time I saw Wu Tang videos, Ike Williams videos. Uh, um, Chris Robinson videos, and uh, I was like, damn, man, how they do that? And when I came to France to do my studies, I was interested in uh, in go on the on the shooting and to see how they how they work in the shooting, and that's how I, I started. Do, do you had the chance to watch some bigger professional yeah, guys yeah, in, the um, in the past? Yeah, in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the mid... Uh, in the mid years, Back in the days, like uh, 2000, in the mid 2000s, yeah. uh, I have the chance to work with um, Focal Production. It's, it was a big uh, production uh, company in France, and uh, I had a friend in that production. Ah, okay. And he, he, he told me you can come sometimes to see how you, how we work, and uh, that's how. And I that's started. that's the best way how to learn it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what is what is the secret of a video, of a good video? The secret f for a good video is the ideas first. First, the, the look, ideas. the look, and uh, the way the director uh, embraces the, the 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 work. It's like um, the way that uh, that I can I can make magical for the people to see the video. Do you understand? Me? Uh, it, so <laughs> it sounds good. I'm asking you because um, every big video producer needs a special style okay that he can that, that separates him from the others that okay. makes him special that makes people want to work with him i understand what do you think what is it why do people want to work with you 
maybe because of my of the looks of of, of my videos and um, maybe the the style the editing too because yeah. I, I know that a lot of people like my editing because yeah. I edit all my videos yeah oh really yeah, okay yeah. Yeah. and uh, sometimes I edit with other editors but most of the time is me yeah and um, I think maybe the style the colors the editing and uh, it's like it's like a for me to work with a rapper, it's like making a featuring with him. It's yeah, like, okay. It's like I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a rapper who work with another rapper because I, I like I like the music. Me, since I was uh, maybe eight years old, always listening to rap music to and I know I know the culture and I know all the thing and I think in my work you can feel that. That's why. What is your hip hop? My hip hop. Yeah. Oh. Pff. Man, I, I live with, with my time. So back in the days, uh, I was I, um, I was listening to Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg. Uh, then I then I switched to Wu Tang, then to Dipset. <laughs> okay. And right now I'm in the trap music like Gucci Man, Waka Flocka, and. But you more in the past you were more fan. You you music. In the past, in the past, my favorite group was Wu Tang. Okay. Yeah. And did you some hip hop stuff, or was it your way into the rap, in the, into the hip hop business, starting videos, or did you something different before? Maybe, maybe rapping or DJing, producing something. No, like no, that? no. Uh, I wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> I was just a little kid yeah. who loved to listen to rap music and things like that. And when you're doing hip hop videos, yeah, what is important? How how you can explain to people what hip hop is? The hip hop of the act is what is important? What is the mo main important thing? Um. You know, for me, hip hop is a culture, yeah. And I'm not doing hip hop videos. I'm doing rap videos. Okay. Because yeah, rap, rap is a is a subculture of hip hop. Yes. So um, I prefer that people say that I'm doing rap videos. But um, okay, that's important, of yeah. course. Yeah. Uh -huh. For me, for me, my videos may be maybe a part of hip hop culture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Ike like Williams or or other directors. You work. In the past, with so many people, yes, uh, together, um, mostly French guys, of yeah. course. It was the start of your business that you became bigger in the French business, right? Yes. And how did people come to you? Um, oh, okay. It's very easy. Um, I started with my cousin yeah. group, and then I make I, I made my website. Yeah. I put my videos on my website, and uh, I knew some um, artists from the Caribbean. Yeah. And I made a lot of videos for them. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And then one day I met uh, a rapper named Mac Tire yeah. in a studio. And the guy told me, um, I want to do a video with you, but I don't know your, your style. I don't know your capacities. I just want let me think about it. The guy continued to look at me on my website. And then one day he, he asked me, yeah, let's do a video right now. The f at, the, at the beginning, we... We had to do a video with him featuring Booba. Okay. And then that didn't happen. So I made a solo yeah. for him uh, called um, Neuf Toi Tu Peux Pas Test. I will send you the, the, the video. If okay, you want. Yeah. And, uh, and that video was a blow, man. Boom! Yeah, really? Yeah. And that's how it started? Yeah, yeah. That video, Neuf Toi Tu Peux Pas Test with Mac Tire. What yeah. was it? Uh, in 2006. 2000 and that was that was uh, the, the, the year when the first closed. the first huge video that I made that was that video when you when you reached this point yeah then you made it then it was a business no Not? no because but the time before it was more more paying into it you know what I mean Bef yeah before that it was hard yeah. after that it was hard too but I have to work again and again more more and more and more and more and Neuf Toi Tu Peux Pas Test was my, my, at this time, was my best videos because yeah. people was asking who did that video. Okay. And then the guy, Mac at the uh, at the beginning, it was a little, uh, he was a little afraid about saying my name. Yeah. Because he want to keep the, the secret for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I understand. And then, and then one day, he, one day somebody called his label and then the label give my number and my name to other artists and that's what that's how it started great yeah. great great story and connection between artists too yeah. friends and yeah um so do you think the scene is 
is, is it a huge or small scene in France? The mm. rap scene. The rap scene, it's huge. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. But everybody knows everybody. Yeah. 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 That's important for yeah, business. Yeah, that's like important. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you start your business, yeah, you didn't thought about money, right? No. Um, is it important to start such a business? What do you think? Um, I'm not. I'm not like a, like a, like a real businessman. Yeah. I'm like an artist. Yeah. Uh, as I told you, me, uh, me, it's like I'm doing a, a connection with another rapper. It's like I'm a rapper doing something okay. with another rapper. Yeah, understand. For me. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I was just a little guy with a dream eh, to do videos like the U like the U.S. directors and to made it to make it simple to people to 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 have cheaper videos with cool cool pictures. Okay, maybe yeah. maybe maybe that's the point, yeah. uh, because I think it's very important when somebody starts uh, ha has a dream, he don't have to think about money. He no, just I, have to I follow wasn't, the dream. I wasn't into money at this time. Yeah. Because uh, I just uh, I was uh, I had my my diploma. My parents give me sometimes money just to help me, and uh, I w yeah I had a dream man, and just to pursue to pursue my dream and uh, I did that. That's all. From this point, when you had your first huge yeah. video, what happened in the, in the in the time after that? After that, uh, after that, uh, it happened really fast because uh, this video was on June 2006. After that, maybe in September or October 2006, the the clients was calling me every every two days. Every two days, people calling me. Yeah, can I do a video with you? Can I do a video with you? And at this time, I was uh, like two videos per per week, no, uh -huh. per month. Uh -huh. And the year later, I was three video per month. And the year later, I was four video per month. Ah, yeah. uh, that, that's hard, right? Yeah, Did it's hard because I was I was doing all by myself. Uh -huh. And then in 2000, at the end of 2007. I start to 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 thinking like a businessman. Yeah. So I hired a, a, a team yeah. with the with the DOP gaffers and and people like that. And yeah. That that's how. That's I how it became huge. Yeah. Because right? yeah, yeah, yeah. um, the quality of the video change. If you have a team with you to to supply things for you. Yeah. The quality of the video is better. When you're doing um, so many videos in a month. Than in a year, is it isn't it difficult um, to give every video a special kind of style? Um, uh, it's difficult because because uh, sometimes because most of the time you can you can uh, fall into some um, repetitions. Yes, but me. I like street videos, yeah. and I, and I try to 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 change it all the time. I tried. Yeah. The haters say that all my videos are the same. Yeah. But that's false because I can see the the evolution from 2006 and right now. Yeah. The quality, the editing and the style of my video change a little bit. Yeah. But it's all Chris McCurry's video with my print, but the e something changed with the with the evolution. Um what do you think when you when you think what do you have in mind when you look a little bit back in the 2007 or so? Do you had a point when you had enough of video do doing videos and in, in that time? But no, because I was so much. No, because I was starting and I, I wanna. It's like for me, it, it was like <laughs> conquer the world because yeah. I did the video with with a huge artist at, at this time. Yeah. And I, I and I wanting to 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 go further up. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, if I start with him. At, at this moment, the huge, the huge, uh, the huge rapper was well, Booba, Wolf, and something like that. Yeah. And now, uh, uh, at this time, uh, I was thinking like maybe I can do a video with Booba. I was starting dreaming, so yeah. I, uh, I continued to walk, walk, and then one day Booba called me and told me, "Can we do a video together?" And you did a lot of videos with Booba and Wolf yeah. and Rimka. Yeah. 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 Um, they are the, you can say we can say that these are the biggest rappers in France, is it right? Yeah, yeah, to right. to th up to in that time. <laughs> it's right. Um, but 
I think a video because in nowadays when 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 video is more getting more and more important, yeah. the video is more than fifty percent of the sound of yes. the song. What yeah. what do you think about this? Yeah, me I think the video can help or destroy the song. Yeah, yeah, because if you do if you have a song who is all right but not that not that not that good, if you do a good video, man, you can help the song. Yeah, yeah, because the video can. Um, can uh, can make some magical thing with the because the image right now is so important with the social networks and thing like that, so you can help a song to to be more uh, more explicit, more more easy to people to understand something that the that the the artist want to say. I do think so. Do you think um, you helped the rappers getting? Even bigger than before with your videos. I think so, cause uh, I think so, cause if if it's, if you it wasn't that they didn't call me. Yeah, ma and also I think. I think so. On, on, on I'm not I'm not the guy who, who gonna say yeah my video are the best, but I think that it uh, must be. Yeah, it must be. Um, on from my side uh, point of view, uh, from my point of view, it is like that you create for me a booba style because i saw the videos and okay. I, I, i realized booba Maybe and then I it was a, a style yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and that, that was booba you know what i mean yeah, yeah. and then his his music changed but the video gave me gave me a, a line yeah i understand because you, you uh, me and booba we have i think that we have the same way of thinking yeah so we have uh, the same connection when we talk about videos When he when he when he asked me for for an idea, I can I can say yeah let's do that. He say oh yeah 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 that's good and then so then we go. What was the hugest project you ever had? Uh, I did a video with Tony Parker in 2007. Tony Parker. Yeah. Okay. And um, for his first album. Yeah. And that was the the biggest budget that I have at this time. Can you give us some figures? Uh, about a uh, hundred. Uh, 100,000 euros yeah and um, but my my favorite project uh, all time maybe i can say maybe Chufu with booba okay last year in yeah. los angeles why because um because of the equipment and the gear that we have on the sets And uh, the ideas and the look of the video, and yeah, and the and the and you know what the the the, the shooting, the shoot of the video was so easy, man. Every every everything every everything was on point. Everybody okay. was on time. Everything was really perfect. So I I like that video for that. Yeah. During the time during your work all over the years, do you nowadays you feel more like a like a shooter or more like a art director uh, do you do you do want to Both. do all the jobs or just give some away uh, right now right videos? now right now it's like i'm a hard director yeah but i like to shoot i like to to do the the shootings and uh, and the pictures i like to control everything yeah so but right now i'm a hard director yeah. but is it is it is it important to have uh, as a video shooter as a producer do you have that you have all these things under control yeah it's important because you If you if you know where you want to go, you have to you have to control everything. Videos nowadays, uh, um, on the one side, they just I'm um, presenting a style, yeah, and kind of behaving, and on the other side, they're telling a story. Yeah. What do you like more? Um, for me, I'm a guy who likes cinema and movies, so I like I prefer the stories. Yeah. But I enjoy myself with the with the style, the stylistic video, like uh, only the behaviors in the hood and something like that. But I prefer the cinematographic videos. And did you ever put a rapper into another shade of light, for example, that that he was once a representing video with all his guys and the crowd in the back, and you say, "Come, let's tell a story. We make this video like this," and it was not his comfortable zone. You know what I mean? That he yeah. steps out of his yeah, yeah, yeah. typical I, style. I did that with Booba. Yeah. And with many artists, man. Uh, yeah, I did that. Is it difficult to get th to make the step? No, 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 no. Because because um, rap rap artists or maybe all the artists yeah. like movies. So you can you can easily say to a guy, let's do a story this time. The next time we're doing 
maybe just a simple one yeah. but this time let's do a movie and i think they like it back spin back spin back spin back spin